So in this problem, uh, we're given a trapezoid. And if you look carefully, you can't just randomly label this a trapezoid. You have to look. The angle A is 30 degrees and angle B is 45 degrees. So based on my picture here, I can't put A and B as these obtuse angles. I need to represent the um, angles that are acute. So to keep it more to scale, I have 30 degrees for A here, 45 degrees for B. Now I can name it in consecutive order A, B, C, D. Again, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise for that. Now after uh, inserting those, I can fill in my measurements, 7.7 .7 for AD, CD is 11.5. And now you want to find the total perimeter. So in order to find the perimeter, we're going to rely on the fact that we're creating a 45-45-90 triangle here. And then we're forming a 30-60-90 triangle here. So based on the patterns that we have, uh, the 30-60-90 triangle has a pattern of x, hypotenuse of 2x, and a side opposite 60 degrees is x root 3. And so here, um, if our side that's the hypotenuse is 7.7, .7, then the side opposite 30 degrees is going to be 7.7 .7 halves, and then this portion over here will be 7.7 .7 halves times root 3. Here in this middle portion, we created a rectangle, so opposite sides will be equal. So that means that this length will be 7.7 .7 halves, and because of the 45, 45, 90 triangle, this will also be 7.7 .7 halves. And then finally, in this rectangle, opposite this side will be 11.5. The final measurement back to this 45, 45, 90 triangle, we have a pattern of x, x, x root 2. So the legs are both 7.7 .7 halves. Therefore, the hypotenuse is going to be that measurement times root 2. Okay, so here are all my calculated values. I'm going to go ahead and put them in my calculator. I get 11.5 plus 7.7 .7 plus this whole fraction, 7.7 .7 root 3 divided by 2 plus another 11.5 plus this 7.7 .7 halves. And then finally, we add this 7.7 .7 halves times root 2. When I calculate that all, I get my answer. The perimeter is approximately 46.7 if I round it to the nearest tenth.